It is the very talented sophomore Sean Robinson will hand it off to Arius Anderson. Huge hole right up the middle for an immediate first down TCU. So it's second and two. Back to pass. Stepping up and he's going to go down. That pocket collapsed. And the Red Raiders get their first sack of the night. Tony Jones leading the way. Getting all lined up. Pressure comes up the middle. Robinson will step up. And he's going to throw on the move a little high. That pass brought in, though. Gang tackled well short of the first down. So TCU's offense will have to punt the ball away. It's going to be messy. To the turf. It's going to get messy down there. I think it is. <laughs> a fair catch signal. It's going to be good field position for Texas Tech and their offense. They do down to one. They do. Duffy in the pocket throws. And another slant complete for another Texas Tech first down. And he's going to keep it. A big hole opens up inside the 10 and all the way down to the five-yard line. And we talked a second ago about Garrett Wallow being slow on the read. Well, this is why. Times are a little different these days. On third and goal out of the timeout, Duffy keeps, and Duffy will get dragged down. Good play by Ty Summers and company, and I think they read that one all the way. Banigou we, also in on the play. Yeah, we can about Banigou 15. Watch him come in, go back out, and then show the athletic ability to go back into the inside. Very athletic defensive end, all-conference performer, but that was just great awareness and instincts not to, not to be fooled there on that third down. So short field goal try for Clayton Hatfield, just 22 yards, basically like an extra point, and from the middle of the field, the kick is up, and it is perfect. Gain for TCU has sets them back. Swing it out to Rager, who juggles it, and I'm not sure that was a That's forward a fumble. pass. The ball's on the turf, and TCU very fortunate to pounce off the ball. I think it was a live ball. The freshman to Valence Hunt was the guy who got on the live ball. Now a swing pass, other side, and a nice run after the catch for Shea Alona Lua. Long field a little bit. Robinson in the pocket, pressure comes. He takes a hit and delivers the ball on target. A huge hit on that end from Vontae Dorsey, but the pass complete for a first down. Freshman last year. The starter is a sophomore on third and nine. Pressure comes. Robinson's going to run. Robinson makes a man miss. First down and more. The ball comes out. The ball's down on the field. Scooped up by TCU and taken inside the 10. It's loose again, but I think they're saying the ball was down. Chaos for the Horn Frogs, which has been such a problem for them. You saw the good and the bad from Robinson all in one play. Yeah, and Robinson's put the ball on the ground and lost three fumbles. And he lost three fumbles in the last three games. And this is an athletic play. You're talking about a guy that's dealing with a shoulder, and you wonder when he gets in the crowd, how comfortable does he feel holding on to the ball and taking these hits? Well, they do get organized and go backwards. They give it to Anderson on first and goal and lose yardage. Decision. Well, he is back to pass, pressured immediately, kind of flings it up there. It's knocked up in the air and intercepted. Intercepted, brought out of the end zone, which I'm not sure that was a good decision. Now the ball comes out again. TCU thinks they have it, but ruled down on the field. That's going to be a turnover. Jordan Brooks off the tip ball came up with it. Credit for not giving up on the play. Looked like Brooks got a, just his left hand in there just enough to separate the football. And he's down, so you're right. Not a great decision to come out, but they will have the football. For Cliff Kingsbury in the last decade or so, pretty remarkable the list he's produced from the end zone. Duffy's got to be careful here. He will roll out of the pocket and throw it away, and I think he did get outside the well, pocket that, and that, get it back to the line. Did he? For it. Pressure on the punter. Cavante Turpin, who's got four career punt returns for a touchdown, will not make a fair catch signal. Turpin with his speed. Tried to spin away from that tackler and could not quite do it. But the Horn Frogs are going to start in Texas Tech territory. And I don't want us to forget Robinson with some pressure coming. Nice delivery across the middle for a TCU first down. Texas Tech and it's hard. The way he zips it in, strong arm, good athlete. A little shoulder fake. Robinson on the move across the body. What an arm and what a catch for a touchdown. Wow. And there is all the athleticism running to the right and that throw on a line. Off to the right, up at the top. Watch the defender. He just turns the wrong way. He's lost. And the quarterback, Robinson, keeps the play alive. But the communication between the sideline and getting all 11 on the same page. Nice run and the spin move to make sure that Trey King gets the first down. Opportunity for Texas Tech. First and long, handoff King, who's showing some nice burst here in the early going. What a move to the outside, first down, plus a couple. Red Raiders move the ball on the ground. Yeah, it's nice. 
Fourth and three. Pressure picked up initially. Duffy, what a spin move. Duffy's going to try to run. He does not get there. Great pursuit, and that's number 15 again. Side, he's all the way over here. You'll see him work, and then he comes around. He's almost a spy. He shows that he's going to bring pressure. Now he's just kind of waiting. And remember, this is a defensive end at 250 pounds with that kind of speed. Rager comes in motion. They fake there to him. Is. Robinson looking like he wants to go downfield and hits his man for a first down TCU. Young quarterback, young receivers. That was the true freshman hunt. Robinson again with time across the middle. The tackle right near the line. I think a yard short. Tay Barber made the catch. You would figure not much threat of throwing the ball here. Alana Lua will turn forward and get the first down. Now the ball came out. The ball comes out. It's another TCU turnover. Tony Jones pounces on the football. And how about that? It would have been first down. Horn Frogs instead. Texas Tech gets the ball back. Who tonight? He's got the first down. Dakota Allen, one of the first ones to hit him. But before his knee goes down, that ball is out. They might take a peek at that just to make sure. But it looked like the ball did come out. Yep. I think definitely. Yeah. Good job by Texas Tech getting their hands in there and knocking that football field, loose. Third and two. Right near midfield. Back to pass. Duffy going deep on third and short. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Jump catch. Incomplete out of bounds. Great Boy, effort by Andro Antoine Wesley. A great catch. Football. But the left foot, or the, the right foot, just unable to come down. But a heck of an effort. Been up a little closer. An end over end angled punt for Texas Tech. Maybe that's just by design to keep Turpin from having a chance to return one out of bounds. On third and eight, Robinson pressured again and will throw. That one is incomplete. Along the sideline, incomplete. Ball hit the ground. It's fourth down, to your point. We'll compromise with injury. We know Texas Tech's is. This punt with the uh, bounce inside the five and the save inside the five. What a nice play by the special teams. This should make him use a timeout at the very least. Uh-oh. Uh, he is in the end zone, going to heave it deep with coverage there, underthrown and intercepted. As good as a punt. It's, it's the same as a punt. Kirk yeah. and I was thinking, if they let him throw it on second down, then what is the difference? You might as well let him throw it on third. If you're going to throw it, obviously, this is what you do. Just throw it as far as you can, and, and if they intercept it, they intercept it. If you get pass interference, you get, you get a first down. You avoid punting the ball to Turpin. Yeah. Position at least to get points. Texas Tech shows pressure. Picked up nicely. Now, though, time running out. And Robinson just flings it towards his running back. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Side of the ball. So 47 yards. Good hole. That kick is hooking. And it is no good. And that will give Texas Tech a boost heading to the locker room. Yeah, Cliff King. Spirits over here on the sideline. Carter will hand the ball off. And just almost nowhere to go. In fact, uh, Texas Tech goes backwards to set up third down. Well, I do think it's fascinating to hear what's going on. Carter's going to go down. He gets sacked on second down, dragged it for a loss of a yard or so. Um, there's a pulling guard here, pulling tackle. Looks like this time Jacob Hines. It's been a revolving door. Watch the left guard come around, try to deal with that. That is a tough ask against the best pass for one of the best pass rushers in the Big 12. Texas Tech, the second quarter, no points. First time they hadn't scored. Look at Collier. Since the opener, yeah. There's Collier for another sack. Remember, they are moving people around just to try to deal with the loss of Bruffy. This time it is Dawson Keaton. And he's their bull rush in. He's just coming with sheer power. That's a Not freshman. a lot of move. We're just going to walk him back. But we're going to get there. And Coach Man Texas Tech. On fourth and 18, a fair catch made by Turpin around the 35. TCU will have the ball for the first time in the second half. Let's third and nine. That throw short left. Can uh, the receiver turn it upfield? The answer is no. Tay Barber shopped, stopped well short of the first down. Wisconsin on Saturday. I thought, I thought this would be a little bit more a Saturday night. I mean, you guys don't need me for this. Oh, you're, <laughs> wait, wait till Ann Arbor. It's going to be. It is a strange injury, but he should be fine. Duffy down the middle, wide open, wide open, caught. Ten touchdown, Texas Tech. Now we. Keep waiting and waiting until they might take a shot. And they get the look that they want to be able to throw the football. 
to High, who's a smaller receiver. You see him right down the middle of the field. It's a mix-up in coverage. Two safeties that are high. When you have two safeties that are high, Evans, the linebacker, needs to run with that vertical. Right now. That's a good old-school reference, by the way. Pressure, <laughs> quick release, and the pass is caught. Caught, was he inbounds? Yes. Now Cliff Kingsbury is saying, no. now the back judge says no. Now Johnny he, Stevens Jr., what an effort, but apparently incomplete. It's an he, incomplete pass. The ball, he Worked didn't complete out. the catch. It's, it's an incompletion. But what I like, though, Robinson sees the blitz and gets the ball out yeah. quickly. By the way, and the, and the and, placement of the ball. And that's a catchable ball. ball. Yeah, right here. See the ball come out? Yeah, that is a catchable ball. He punt the ball back to Texas Tech, whose defense comes up with another stop. Fair catch at the 40. That's where the Red Raiders will have it. He has gone to the dark side, maybe Dad would say. Third and eight, Duffy gets drilled and comes up way short. Man, he took a big hit. That punt, Turpin, fair catch signal inside the 20, makes it right around the 15-yard line. The play clock. It's one of those examples, Joe, he's talking about hit a crossing route. Get the ball out now. He gets it out deep down the field. Turpin turns around and it drops right into his hands for the big play. And I love what he did. He looked at Turpin. He gave Turpin a signal. There was no thinking. He well, looked at him and said, I'm coming to you, Turpin. Make a play for me. Well, he got a blitz from his left with uh, with Coleman. And then he got a one on one matchup that he knew he could win against John Bonney, a safety. And the ball is snapped. Pressure off the edge. Robinson steps up. Going to try to run for it. Robinson got away from one man. It'll get the first down and go out of bounds. Big well, play by Sean Robinson. Exactly. Big first down for TCU. Robinson has nowhere to go this time. In fact, he goes backwards. Loss of five. Here's Robinson. Dancing around in the pocket and kind of moving backwards. He is going to keep going backwards and then just throw it into no man's land. Wow. Trying to pin the Red Raiders deep here with the short punt. And they will do it very effectively. Andrew David came in and punted that one. It's down at about the two. Off, and he's had a lot of success doing that in his career as a high school player and early in the Texas Tech. Nice run for a first down. That is Trey King once again. Get the ball snapped properly this time. Final 30 seconds of the quarter. That one to Wesley. And another good delivery for another first down. And that's a great. CU has to find a way to get off the field on third down. Duffy going deep down the sideline for Wesley. And he makes a catch. Did his foot come down in bounds? Yes. Wow. What a throw. That's what a catch. Time. Big time throw and an outstanding Rolling catch. on the field as a completed pass for a catch and first down. How about Wesley going? Look at the balls thrown over the. Oh, over the sideline, and that right toe looks like it's on the line. I think it's out of bounds. Dominic Panazolo, the punter, booms one. That was probably not the way they drew it up. No, no, that was too flat. He wanted that one way up in the air. And Trying to interrupt the tempo of the defense. That slant is complete. Turpin out of the open field and close to midfield. And I love the play call. Second and three. With a four-man sort of delayed rush toward the end zone. Turpin, touchdown! Back in soft coverage and they get beat. And now the question is, can Jet Duffy and this Texas Tech offense get back down the field? Going deep for Wesley. He catches in stride. A penalty is thrown inside the 20. A huge play to Antoine Wesley, and presumably this catch will stand. Izahaku had to grab onto his arm. That's the only reason there's a penalty. How about this coming right back against yeah, man-to-man? Duffy, and, and later in this game, it's just the throw he made to the sidelines. Clock winding down. They will get the ball snapped. Three-man rush. Duffy pressured anyway, and he goes down. Sack back at the 35-yard line. A huge play by Collier. Cannot understand. They're, they're, they are punting the ball away. They had first down at the 13-yard line. They do, I think, save it. That was a good play. Now, this time, they execute that punt. Robinson is going to throw. Pressure comes straight up the middle. Robinson on the move. Robinson throws it away. There was a target out there. Incomplete fourth down. Robinson slow to get up. The end zone. Have to get the punt off. He does, but very short. And I mean really short. Texas Tech. This is going to work out relatively well for the Red Raiders. Yeah. On the field. Needing a touchdown to go back ahead. Here comes pressure. And it opens wide up for Duffy. 
to the 20, to the 15. Duffy with the Jets. Touchdown! Wow! They brought the pressure, and it just opened up for the running quarterback, and he took it the whole way. Man-to-man -man design quarterback draw, and he follows Bailey Smith, the backup center, for a touchdown. Who had no one to block. No. <laughs> such, seriously, such a good play call. Bailey Smith, I mean, give him credit for the hustle. Yeah. There was no one left to block. No. I think he got it across, don't you? They were looking to make sure the ball got across, I think, easily in the end zone. Desmond Smith pulled him away blitz. from the line. That blitz comes. Robinson gets away. On the move, trying to plant. Robinson will get tackled well short of the first down. They Roderick Washington, the big defensive lineman. You thought the previous one was really <laughs> short. This one's going backwards. It, My it, goodness. Is that very? So we're down to almost two and a half minutes to go in this game. Duffy, dangerous throw, knocked away incomplete. I say dangerous, I, maybe it wasn't going to be intercepted. I, I had a receiver open. And Zolo pinned him deep last time. This one kind of a line drive. It's going to bounce inside the 10. Wow. Can they knock it out of bounds? He downed it. I think he did. Yeah. He nonchalantly. Yeah, he got him. <laughs> Very nonchalantly. He got a I did. Again, Jeez. where is the ball? Not the feet. Where is the ball? And... In fact, once he stopped, once he uh, possessed the ball, it's down at the yeah. two-yard line. That is right, another part right of the there. It's rule. down. Hey, yeah. Dave, Dave, I like you are going to need him to give us a little like kick that ball out of bounds. Just out of starting from the one or the two across the middle for a nice gain on first down. That gives him some breathing room. Now, now you and you notice the blitz coming right up the middle. Robinson just heaves it up and it's caught. Rager came back and got it. It's a first down. Call it and go. Game's over if they don't get it. They need a yard. Robinson's going backwards. No. Robinson. Pump fake. Robinson gets away. Uh -oh, now uh -oh, he's going to cut it back. Sean Robinson trying to keep the game alive. Stays on balance. Ball tipped up. Texas Tech has it. And to bring they, hats to the party. Not just one guy open field. No, they, bring in guys to the show to collectively make a tackle. And they were physical with the line of scrimmage for David Gibbs on that side. And let's talk about it again one last time about Jeff or Jet Duffy stepping up and making just enough plays, especially in that fourth quarter, to be able to give them this three-point win. Change their offense in 10 days. Yeah. Change their offense and won against a very talented team on the road. On the road.